Hey, what's going on there, fantasy sports fans? This is the Tampa Bay Fantasy Sports Second. I'm your host, Roy. And if you can hear crickets right now, it's not because the window is open right by the mic. It's because I told a poorly timed uh, Ray Rice domestic violence joke. Apparently, you can't do that these days. Coming up this weekend, we got Atlanta rolling into Tampa here to face the Bucks at Ray J, and it is going to be a brand burner. And by that, I mean Matt Ryan and company are going to come into your, your farms, your farm homes, and they're going to burn your crops, your barns, all your, your livestock to the ground. It's just going to be fucking disgusting. All that aside, I, uh, I looked into tickets uh, just a minute ago. I uh, thinking to go to a game. You know, who doesn't want to sit out? The, the weather's decent this time of year. It's been looking nice. So uh, uh, my my security uh, phrase to uh, to get the tickets, it was defend the bay. And, and once I saw the uh, $120 without the service charge, I, I figured it looks like the bay is fucked this weekend. Um, I'm fucking just packing up and getting out because the bay is fucking done. I'm not going to be there to defend it. So so fuck everything because $120 to, to, to watch two fucking bottom barrel teams fucking just flail around on the field and look like idiots. I don't want to fucking be a part of it. I realize this isn't the way I should be talking about a hometown team, but, uh, you know, fucking one and seven, fucking two and six in Tampa. I'd rather not. For 120 bucks, I can do a lot more with that. A lot more. And by a lot more, I mean take that money, drop it in some fantasy sports here. See if I can double, triple, quadruple. What comes after that? Septuple? Dub duple? I don't fucking know. But I'm going to set you up with a dope ass lineup with your hometown bucks. And we're going to see if we can make some money together here. So here we go. Old damn Mikey Glennon's been sat. Got Josh McCown, his last game coming. Uh, who would have thought against Atlanta back there? I don't know, week three? Maybe I could have prepared better. But who the fuck cares, man? So Josh McCown's going to be stepping in against the uh, Atlanta Falcons. Well, actually, uh, let's start here. They're 25th in pass yards. They're, they're giving up some pass yards, but they're only giving up uh, 10 TDs, which sets them at second in the league, which gives it that. They, similar to what the Pats did the past few years, the, uh, the, the bend but don't break. You, you let them get a bunch of yards, but you don't let them get the scores. Bend but don't break. It works sometimes in sports, and it always works with my penis. But it's not working good for the fucking Falcons this year, who said at two and six. So my first pick right there, I'm putting in Josh McCown. You gotta start with the fucking the fucking field general right there. Josh McCown's gonna be starting at quarterback for me. After that, <clears throat> I'm thinking receivers. Okay. You got Mike Evans, Vincent uh, Jackson. It, it's a top it's a toss up because cause they're kind of neck and neck with the points they're putting up. Mike Evans the past few uh, game's been putting up a little more numbers than Vincent Jackson, but you got a new quarterback coming in who hasn't passed since week three. So I think I'm going to stick with Vinny Jacks over there. Veteran, he, he's big. He can go to him deep, short, end zone. He, he's going to go up for some big catches, I think. And, and with that, uh, with the Falcons' uh, pass defense uh, not being the best in the league, I think uh, Vinny Jacks has, has a Good shot to put up some decent numbers for you. Now I'm going to pop over to running back. Uh, Atlanta's ranked uh, 22nd against the run, and giving up a league league most with 13 rush touchdowns. Dougie Martin's up in the air, so I'm, I'm going to stick with Bobby Rainey. I think he put up some good numbers the past few weeks. He's, he's done great filling in for Doug Martin. Um, and like I said, the, Atlanta's giving up a shit ton of yards on the ground, and, and they've just been punching it in the past few weeks. So so I'm going with Bobby Rainey on that one. So Josh McCown, Vince Jackson, Bobby Rainey. I'm going to go ahead and toss Patrick Murphy in there. Um, I'm sorry, Murray. I apologize. I'm sure he'd be offended by that. Patrick Murray, um, just toss the kicker in there. Cheap, cheap as shit. He's got to put something up, right? Something. Please, Pat. Please. Now, if you duel, you can only take four from each team. So this is where it gets fun, where you can deviate from the Bucks and, and pick up some, uh, actually, uh, some good players. So I'm going to set you up with something here. Okay, I'm going with DeMarco Murray against the Jaguars. 
uh, Tony Romo may not play, and if he, even if he does, he's going to be dumping it off. DeMarco's going to be there to catch it. He's going to be there to run it, put some, up some dope fucking yards. Then tight end, I'm going with Julius Thomas. It's Denver at Oakland. In Oakland, uh, I just feel like he's going to have a, a very good game. Uh, bounce back. They're looking to bounce back from that tough loss from the Pats over there. And uh, and then I got Antonio Brown as your second wide receiver. Uh, Big Ben's been on a tear the past two weeks here with it was 12 touchdowns. And uh, they're going up against the Jets, which it's just a shit show over there, which I'm loving. So I, I'm guaranteeing that uh, at least one touchdown goes to it, Antonio Brown. If not two, he's he's good in the slot. He's good going deep. He's just a quick guy and and uh, Ben always seems to look for him, so I'm, I'm sticking with Antonio Brown again this week. Then with the defense, I think I'm going to go with the Packers. Um, reason being because Chicago seems to be falling apart on the offense. Uh, there's been talk of uh, infighting with, with all the, uh, the star players and stuff. So I think uh, Cutler's going to be forcing some passes. Green Bay's been playing well, offense and defense, so they're going to be putting up some points. I'm thinking Chicago, Cutler's going to force some passes, and it's it's going to go the other way, and I think Green Bay's going to have a good day on defense. And with the last receiver spot, I think I'm going to go with Allen Hearns. Let's keep it uh, Florida-based here with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, Dallas uh, defense has been playing uh, somewhat well the past few weeks here. They're going to be playing uh, D- Dallas-Jacksonville in London. Over there, I don't know, Wembley? Who the fuck knows? Some pitch? I don't know. But I'm going with Alan Hearns. They're going to have to pass, uh, keep up with the, with the Cowboys. So I, I think I'm going to stick with him. Let's go back to Vincent Jackson. He is questionable. He has been dealing with some nagging rib injuries over there. And uh, if, if he ends up not playing, you just you, you pop in Mike Evans. That's what I'll be doing. So let me recap it for you here. We got quarterback Josh McCown, running back DeMarco Murray, running back Bobby Rainey. Receiver, Vincent Jackson, Antonio Brown, Alan Hearns. Tight end, Julius Thomas. Kicker, Patrick Murray. Defense, Green Bay Packers. With that lineup right there, leaves you with $100 remaining. If you want to tweak maybe uh, the kicker uh, defense, go ahead and do it. But you don't always have to use all your money. But I, I think this this will be the week I make some money with, with the, the Tampa Bay uh, Bucks stack there. And I hope you do too. Um, I'll be rounding... Round, wrapping up the weekend uh, next Tuesday. I'll let you know how I did. Hopefully you did well. And uh, hey, thanks for listening. This has been Roy, and this is your Tampa Bay Fantasy Sports second. Hey, take it easy, Tampa Bay sports fan. Stonk it.